What's going on, guys? This is John Collins from the Atlanta Hawks. You listen to the Three Point Conversion Radio. Besides that first quarter, I mean, what stands out to you from from tonight's game, especially offensive rebounds? You know, I thought it was a team effort, and I thought our second unit came and established us uh, in that second quarter. Uh, you know, they uh, started that second quarter. Uh, we only gave up six points, so we in about six minutes. And, uh, you know, we, we got brought defense into the game. Second half, uh, they showed up uh, throughout that second half. They were only 40 points. Uh, and offensively, uh, you know, we found a way. You know, it wasn't pretty uh, tonight. I thought we still had a lot of talent in the ball and have that ball move and that flow uh, that we want to play with. Uh, but they found a way uh, to win uh, the game in the road and the game in the road at the same time. And, uh, you know, starting off this road trip, uh, good stuff. Gallo back in, it's really your first look at the second unit. All together, just what did you think about them throughout the whole game? You know, he was a spark for us as well. You know, I thought that 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 second unit of uh, Delon, Kevin, Cam, Gallo, uh, Gorgie, that second quarter really established us. Uh, they came in and they did a good job of uh, defending offensively. They was able to uh, get some ball movement. I thought they they moved the ball. Uh, that group in there and defend and, and, and score. So just a solid effort, uh, you know, by uh, that group. But with a team win, team win, and, 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 and find a way to, to, uh, to get it back. And you've not held opponents under 100 points in that location. What do you like to have to have to do that? Well, I thought, you know, defensively, uh, we're getting pressure. Uh, they made some tough shots in. You know, I thought Dre did a good job at the run. Uh, you know, he can shoot, uh, you know, contested shots. So Dre is right there. You know, and guys are making those shots. We're going to live with them. Uh, so I thought we stayed with them. Uh, we probably tried to mix up some things uh, defensively, uh, you know, as far as some traps. But just stay solid, control that basketball, keep it in front of you, and make them shoot over the top of I thought we did that. We was able to control the boards, uh, really aggressive on the offensive board, but we wanted to do that. Uh, so one shot defense is what we want to be about uh, tonight. We was able to do. Well, what did you see out of John tonight? It seemed like even as early as the second quarter, he was kind of giving all smoke. Yeah, I mean, I mean John is, I mean, he's so active out of when he's out on the floor. Uh, been in foul trouble with his first uh, few games. You know, I wanted to uh, get him in the game uh, when we could get him at the five. And uh, it, 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 uh, they took Val Chunks out. And uh, I wanted to get him uh, at five position. I thought he was good. And uh, he was the best center to do. Uh, but, you know, that's how John plays. You know, he brings energy uh, every time he touches the floor. And, uh, you know, tonight he was able to uh, make some big plays. To us, uh, just off the ball uh, as well as down the surprise. John played quite a bit uh, this season. Seems like he's been playing really well. Like, you know, like he's been playing really well. Because, you know, he, he can, he can uh, be the role guy with that, with that unit. And that unit has Gallo, uh, it has uh, Kevin. So you get four shooters on the perimeter. Um, you know, with the line with Lou and John becomes the role guy uh, with that second one. So if I feel that we can defend and rebound uh, and try to get him with that second one uh, to allow him to pick and roll and spread the floor, try to take advantage of his ability to uh, play with him. The line you know, That's what we do. You know, he does the job of controlling uh, uh, the tempo, uh, does the job of organizing us. Uh, you know, he's going to bring the defense to the game. He has a new confidence. He comes out playing defense. And I thought he you know, really did a good job of uh, organizing us. And, you know, 
Okay, we have a question on Zoom from Christos. Hello, coach. Congratulations on the win. How big win was that? That in New Orleans about your character as a team and what was the biggest difference on your defensive effort on in the second half? I thought we established ourselves right, you know, uh, from the start. You know, they we, we knew this was a team that could score. Uh, they play a lot of isolation ball. They were very capable of putting up points, and uh, they, they really had their way for early uh, in the game. But uh, as I uh, mentioned, the second unit in the second quarter established that defensive presence. Uh, uh, got some stops, and then we we, we started off the third quarter. Uh, getting stops and uh, giving up only 40 points in the second half. So uh, our defense showed up in the second half. Kind of a gut check for us uh, tonight. Uh, going back and forth with the lead. And, uh, and, uh, I thought the guys stayed with it. Uh, Are you thinking I love it. <laughs> yeah, I got a little something. <laughs> I love it. Trey, where did you kind of see that shift after the first quarter of this game? Um, uh, really, we just we found a way to score. I mean, I don't know if it's too, too often we to score 19 points in the quarter. You know? And I think it was weird. We came out flat. We came out flat and came out. We were absolutely ready to go. We got to do a lot better starting the game. I look at the amount of offensive rebounds y'all had tonight, like 21. I mean, just what did you like about your team's physicality on the offensive side? Yeah, I mean, our big really matched uh, Valentinus's uh, aggression. Strong and big and weak. It was a tough for our big, but they can really battle. How did you put energy into the line brought tonight? I mean, obviously, you had that piece in the back late in the game. Uh, yeah, no, nah, John's energy was great. I was really talking, I, I just, uh, uh, you know, a lot better game than the crowd trouble. Uh, I think he was just playing great, playing hard, playing physical, playing playing. So, I mean, he was making what he did for us tonight down the stretch was bigger than what he wanted to do. How big also was, was it to walk in on? In the second half, we got all of the scores. No, big time. That's big time. We didn't score too much in the first half. We need that. And uh, we can do a lot better. Um, and that is the um, offense was a big one. There's not a lot of to stop the score. So, uh, you know, that's kind of what we're talking about. The offense happens. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we all know what we're like when we're playing. Everybody's knocking down shots in the first and the second inning. It's, it's, uh, it's good. So, I mean, you got to, I mean, we're early this early. Um, and we also getting Cam and Dre back. And we also can play a lot of the playoffs. So, adding them to the rotation. So, what did you like? Uh, I mean, he's coming in playing solid, like making plays, making the right reads. Uh, they were being aggressive on the top tonight. He was playing by guy, he was making the right passes. Uh, he was being solid. I don't want to take the I'm not 
think so tomorrow. Yeah, no, nah, now it's in the first first game. I, I talked to, to Manu. I mean, after the preseason, uh, we look back at some of the preseason games. Some of the things that they went on in there. Yeah, I mean, I've had, I've had conversations with him. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to put anybody out there, but that's just, that's just uh, I've had some conversations. And they're, not, they're not all right now. So I think it's a balance of, of them trying to learn the, the new system and new calls. To kind of swallow and listen for certain guys, but I, I just gotta fight through it. And I, I will, I am doing it right now, but it's gonna get, get to a point where if they, they don't, 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 they what it means the way that you respond the the way that you respond tonight after your first quarter and how important win was that about your character as a team? I mean it's big. So you know that this team has been past I mean year we, we just don't give up and uh it's tough to put ourselves in a hole a lot of the times and we gotta find a way to fight back, but we uh we find a way and uh we just fought. They got down low when he fought tonight. They, they made some shots tonight too. So far, I'm going to chase and be aggressive. So we, we got to find a way to win. So. Hey, um, your first game, you know, back out there after after the last week. But now, just just what was it like being out with the guys in that second unit? It uh, felt great. Especially you know, after a win, it was way better. So it felt good, it felt great. Uh, of course, the shoulder is not you know there yet. It's not 100 percent yet, but uh, I don't like missing time because of the guys on the court. So uh, it, felt, it felt very good. Coach Mack said that the, the difference in that second quarter from the first was you guys in your unit. Just just how do you think you guys clicked, especially that second quarter to the rest of the game? Uh, I think we did a great job. We did what we're supposed to do. When we come in, we got to bring the energy and intensity. We got to be more energetic and intense than the other the opponent. And so that's our goal every time we step on the floor. I thought we played a, with a very good chemistry, especially offensively. We moved the ball from side to side. We were able to get all the shots that we wanted. Uh, uh, we can get the extra pass. Uh, I thought we you know, did a great job with that. Um, what actually happened with your shoulder? I think Nate had said maybe you got like tangled up with some of this practice. Um, but what happened with it and kind of can you describe I guess, the spins or something like that? Um basically I I got like you said, I got tangled up with the uh, I think with the clean one practice. Um after I had the feeling kind of like the shoulder going in and out, kind of like the death feeling and uh, there is no, you know, structural problems uh, at the side is, so there's some liquid that is still there and uh, it's painful. Uh, it takes a while to go away uh, and that's, that's what it is. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I think that we have, you know, a couple of guys uh, that didn't play that much last year. And so we got to, you know, take, take them in and, and make sure that they uh, fit in our chemistry. Uh, of course, we're working on that. We're getting better. But uh, like you said, it's better to, you know, to get to get better with that with wins instead of losses. And so, you know, it's a process. The NBA season is a long marathon. Um, and so, like you said, it's better to, to be on the winning side. Uh, I like he's being very aggressive, uh, but he's, you know, he's it, doing a great job offensively, but at the same time, he's doing a great job defensively, too. Uh, he's a guy that can play defense on anybody. We always put him on, on, on with Ray. Uh, when they're not on the court together, he's always playing against the best offensive player of the other guys. And so uh, I think he's doing a great job offensively and defensively. Um, and, you know, he has a lot of talent. And so um, 
my job, our job in the second unit is trying to find him and make sure that he's involved in the action. Possessions to, you know, get a shot back up on the board. Um, uh, CC and I fight ourselves and trying to be some glass. So, uh, we more of that. Is it good? I guess how good is it to get a win like this? Kind of, you kind of know that you can win even when everyone's not having the most beautiful game. Um, to be able to pull it out like this and get a road win. Yeah, this is exactly what we want. Or not, not in the way we executed it, but in the way we stuck together and uh, fought our way back into the game. Close the game out. That's, that's what we want more of. Uh, and just understanding that you know we might not have given our best effort, but we can still come out with the win. Kind of both along the same lines. You know, through the first four games, the offense has been pretty good. Seeing the team just pass. Does that still give you confidence though? Like you want to go on and find this thing going? That you guys are able to do better things. Yeah, definitely. You know, so early in the season, we're still adding new pieces and so. So trying to, you know, flatten out the rest of the issues that the, the chemistry, you know, uh, started the, uh, building the chemistry. I uh, still have lots of time to go. So, you know, we have a coach to, you know, implement more of his uh, strategy and game plan and the team to follow suit. So that's uh, all the process that we we'll able to take. In previous season, how long does it take to feel like you guys are actually you know, that's a good question. I know uh, probably different teams have different games, but, you know, I'd say at least 10 games or so, you can have a real um, uh, first look at what the team is going to be going forward. But, you know, every game is, is, is a great game. Kind of a challenge in the beginning because you Not, you know, where we're supposed to be, uh, I would say more so a feel as for what we like to do, right? Because, you know, we want to play one thing, but uh, you know, knowing each other's tendencies and what we're going to do in the game is very valuable. So learning that and, and just being in sync with, it, with one another is going to help that. Uh, sure. um, Sean, how good is it for you guys to get Jalen Brown back on the and just kind of the, I mean, I know he's not that percent, but the scoring pop, just have his presence and then the scoring pop that he can't bring out there. Yes, the boys uh, Gallo plays with and brings to the game is, uh, you know, always something that we need on the court. You know, to shoot threes, post up, uh, just be a versatile piece is, is always needed, as I said, we're going to have it on Gallo back. I've done, you've been in early foul trouble. Give me a computer. <laughs> what, what do you see uh, out there for why that happened? Um, that might be, you know, something that's early season struggle for myself personally, just trying to get back into the flow of things, you know, being as fast paced. Um, but for myself, just understanding when to, you know, to be aggressive and whatnot, to uh, just got to watch film, come back, and uh, stop back, stop hacking. Um, because of the foul trouble, you played a little bit with the second unit, it seems like you drive and back in. Do you, why do you feel like you found this? Yeah, uh, probably just for a number of reasons. I'd say the biggest one is, you know, I'm always just extra anxious to get out there and uh, help my team when I feel like, you know, maybe early, stupid early plays, um, as well as just my teammates finding me when I'm open and we just doing anything I can to help the team win. So, uh, a good second group, I can do the first group and uh, keep going. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Let's go out to Christos on Zoom. Hello, John. Congratulations on the win. What it means that win mentally wise and about your character as a team, how important is it to build on this victory and this effort after the, fir the first quarter? Yeah, uh, it says a lot. You know, we pride ourselves on being a tough team, a team that, you know, we grind out wins if we have to, but we like to just take care of business. But, you know, every, every night is, isn't the same night. Uh, but I like the effort that we showed. Um, and I just like the, the mindset of us understanding that we're going to win this game um, and just trying to execute down the stretch as we did and just staying resilient 
uh, that'll help us going into the latter half of the year, but it starts right now. All right. Thank you, sir. Everybody. See y'all soon.